friends myself mahima lahiria from vijayanagara college hospital today we will study the aromaticity and the huckel's rule in the previous videos we have seen the structure of the benzene in the details and the nomenclature of the benzene so today we have to study the aromaticity and the huckel's rule so what is aromaticity we all know benzene and the other compounds which resembles benzene in the certain characteristics properties are called aromatic compounds means those compounds which have the resemblance with the benzene are known as the aromatic compounds these characteristics properties constitute what is called as the aromatic character means what properties are uh, in the benzene they constitute the aromatic character and we can also termed it as an aromaticity already we know that the meaning of the aroma means the fragrant smell so the compounds which resembles benzene in their certain characteristic properties are termed as aromatic compounds and these properties we can say they are termed as aromaticity we will study the aromaticity in the two broad headings that is the properties that signifies the aromatic behavior and the theoretical requirements of the aromaticity that is the huckel's rule but why we have to study because there are many substances which are aromatic means they have the resemblance with benzene but they do not have benzene in their structure means they may be cyclic but they do not have the benzene in their structure so hence we must know as to which properties of benzene considered as a compound must possess before we speak to it it has an aromatic means so how we can define that compound is aromatic or non aromatic for example if we see the structure of the furan does it have a benzene ring no but still it is an aromatic compound so what makes it to be aromatic so there are many properties that will signify the aromatic behavior let us see let us see the important properties that signify the aromatic behavior first an aromatic ring is cyclic and planar this is the must condition that any compound to be aromatic the ring should be cyclic means it should not be an open and it should be planar means all the carbon atoms lie should in the they should lie in the one plane second point each of the atoms in the ring must be sp2 hybridized or occasionally sp hybridized and they must have an unhybridized p orbital so each of the atoms in the ring must be sp2 hybridized and they must also have an unhybridized p orbital we have already seen in our video how the uh, carbon is sp2 hybridized and there must be one unhybridized p orbital third point the unhybridized p orbitals must overlap to give a continuous ring of the parallel orbital means all the six all the unhybridized p orbital they will overlap each other to form a continuous ring of the parallel orbital we can see here if these are the p orbitals they can overlap with each other sideways to form a continuous network okay so then next point of the aromatic conditions compounds they must have unusual stability as they are highly stable as shown by their low heats of hydrogenation and the low heats of the combustion they are highly stable because of their low heats of hydrogenation and the low heats of the combustion now let us see the values the heat of hydrogenation of benzene is 49.8 kilocalories per mole as compared to the hypothetical cyclohexatriene value that is 85.8 kilocalories per mole it is very very less similarly the heat of combustion of the benzene is 789.1 kilocalories it is also very low as compared to the cyclohexa try in that is about 824.1 kilocalories these compounds aromatic compounds they undergo electrophilic substitution reactions rather than addition reactions we already know that as the benzene ring or any aromatic compound have a pi electrons so they are very good to give the electrophilic substitution reactions they does not undergo the addition reactions even though they are having the double bond in their rings or means unsaturation is there still they prefer to go the electrophilic substitution reaction rather than the addition reactions these compounds aromatic compounds are highly unsaturated compounds but they also resist to undergo the oxidation by the aqueous cmno4 hno3 or also by the other mild oxidizing agents 
thus the main characteristics of the aromaticity is the stability and the exhibition of electrophilic substitution reaction instead of the addition reactions so the what is the main uh, characteristics of the aromatic compound is that they are highly stable and they prefer to go the electrophilic substitution reactions rather than the addition reaction let us see the theoretical criteria for the aromaticity that is the huckel's rule so we can see that first from the theoretical stand uh, point of view the molecule must have cyclic clouds of delocalized pi electrons above and below the plane of the molecule means the molecule should have the pi electron clouds above and below the plane of the molecule the pi cloud must contain a total of 4n plus 2 pi electrons and n is an integer that is its value may be 0 1 2 3 4 etc this rule is known as 4n plus 2 rule or huckel's rule thus according to the huckel rule the number of pi electron in an aromatic compound may be 2 6 10 14 or 18 means if the number of pi electrons is 2 n is equals to 0 if the number of pi electrons is 6 n is equals to 1 if the number of pi electron is 10 it will be 2 if the number of pi electron is 14 and is equals to 3 etc now the most important thing the huckel's rule is based upon the quantum mechanics now we will see some example of huckel's rules means the compound to be aromatic it should give the 4n plus 2 it should obey the huckel's rule that is 4n plus 2 to uh, be an aromatic now we will see some example first example is benzene the formula is c6s6 and we know that in a benzene there are three double bonds and each bond is made up of two electrons i think this is very clear to the students every bond is made up of two electrons so there are three double bonds so the total number as we know these are the pi bonds so these electrons are termed as the pi electrons so the pi electrons are six here so we have to find out what is the number of n here so with the help of huckel's rule we can write 4n plus 2 will give you the number of the equals to the pi electron so we can consider n as an x 4 into x plus 2 equals to 6 then 4x is equals to 6 minus 2 here so x is equals to 1 so we can just say that hence n is equals to 1 means our its n equals to 1 is an integer value so benzene obeys the huckel's rule and hence it's an aromatic compound so we can see the second example it's a naphthalene we know the formula of the naphthalene is c10h8 this is our uh, one bond is common between the two rings so now we can see how many pi pi bonds are there 1 2 3 4 5 5 five double bonds are here and these double bonds how many electrons each bond carries two electrons so total number of electron will be this is a 10 pi electron system so according to the huckel's rule 4n plus 2 equals to pi electron so we have to calculate the n here again so we will put 4 into x plus 2 equals to 10 as the number of pi electron is 10 here so on calculating we will get x is equals to 8 by 4 it means n is equals to 2 again this 2 is an integer here so we can say that our naphthalene also obeys the huckel's rules and hence it's an aromatic compound then third example we will take furan we know that it's an heterocyclic molecule as there is one oxygen instead of carbon here so the formula is c4h4o again we can see that in the structure there is one hetero hetero atom that is oxygen here and in oxygen there are two lone pair of electron one inside the ring and one is outside the ring and i have already written here these crossed electrons they are not used in the delocalization so in the furan again we will see that how many electrons are there inside the ring 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these six electrons so total number of pi electrons in the furan will be 6 we can calculate the n here same manner 4n plus 2 equals to pi electron so we have to calculate the n here again 6 minus 2 will give you the n is equals to 1 now we can suggest i will explain these two lone pair of electron actually we already discussed that 
there should be the pi orbit p orbitals in the plane so as these two lone pair of electron one is sp2 in plane of the ring which do not involve in the overlapping actually this lone pair of electron is lying in the plane of the ring so it does not take part in the overlapping and this one this is parallel to the adjacent p orbital so they can form a delocalization of the electrons so hence this electrons participates in the pi electrons delocalization hence the furan as it gives us the n is equals to 1 again an integer so this compound will also be aromatic now let us see some more examples of the huckel rule so the example is cyclo octa tetraene and we can represent the structure like this cyclic structure and there are octa means there are eight carbon atom and tetra in may there will be four double bonds that is uh, these are the four alternate double bonds in this ring and we can see that as there are four double bonds so there will be how many pi electrons one double bond means two electrons so it will give you the total number of eight pi electron system then we can see according to the huckel's rule 4n plus 2 equals to pi electrons and we have to calculate the number of n here so 4 into n plus 2 equals to 8 so we can have n is equals to 6 by 4 means we get the answer 1.5 so n is a non integer value as it is a non integer value this compound will be the non aromatic compound it as this cyclo octa tetraene does not obey the huckel's rule of aromaticity as n is not an integer value it's a fractional value 1.5 so it does not obey the huckel's rule and it is a non aromatic compound and we can see it's a cyclic structure but it is a non planar actually the shape is found to be tub shaped like this so this compound is a non aromatic compound now let us see another example cyclo buta diene again there are two double bonds in the system so so this is a four pi electron system so we can solve according to the huckel's rule 4n plus 2 equals to pi electron so as here four pi electrons are four and on solving 4n plus 2 we will put this n is equals to 2 by 4 so it will comes to be your 0.5 so again it is a non integer value means it is a fractional value so this compound does not obey the huckel's rule as the n is is not an integer value so this is a non aromatic compound so cyclobutadiene is also a non aromatic compound so what is the first condition for aromaticity the compound should obey the huckel's rule and the n value should be an integer value non not a non integer or fractional values are not included so next example is tropelium anion so now see the formula this c7 s7 and minus charge means there if there are seven carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the charge is minus what does the minus indicate here minus means we have taken one electron so it is minus here so total as there will be eight pi electron system here as a seven carbon will give one electron for the delocalization and this one electron so total it's a eight pi electron system above we have solved for the eight pi electron system n is equals to 1.5 means for this also n will be 1.5 so this is also a non aromatic compound and it does not obey the huckel's rule of aromaticity now next example cyclo penta dienyl cation now once again it's a c5h5 h plus so what what in the tropelium anion we had seen we have taken but here we will just give one electron out so this system will be a four pi electron system as there were five carbons but one electron is donated so this is your four pi electron system so we have already solved for the cyclobutadiene when four pi electron system is there n comes to be 0.5 so this cyclopenta dienyl cation is a non aromatic compound hence it does not obey the huckel's rule as the n value is a non integer value now we can conclude that we can say an aromatic compound may be benzenoid means it may have a benzene ring or it may not have a benzene ring if it has a benzene ring that is known as benzenoid compound and if it does not have a benzene ring it is known as the non benzenoid compound so in fact all that is required for the aromaticity 
is the presence of a flat ring as we see the in the case of the benzene ring whether it should be a benzonide or not means the presence of a flat ring is must and with the 4n plus 2 pi electrons in the form of a continuous electron clouds above and below continuous electron cloud above and below again i will give the example of benzene only so that's pi electron cloud above and below donut shaped we have already seen the structure in the plane of the ring so for the aromaticity the must condition is that they should have a flat ring they should obey the huckel's rule of aromaticity and they must have an electron cloud above and below the plane of the ring that's all thanks if you like my video please